patients, whatever treatment are available for osteoarthritis management, they have not been affecting in either slowing the disease or arresting the disease, which could have been the best thing done. But what else can we make to allow this change to take place? Well, heart failure, each one of us is very, failure, uh, very familiar that there are many smaller issues, including blood pressure and other elements, which may be cholesterol abnormalities, which if treated or not well treated, culminate into heart failure. Similarly, the joint with minimal symptoms can lead to a synovial joint failure. Now, what are the sequence of events taking place in osteoarthritis? There is articular cartilage surface fibrillation, which, which leads to osteophyte <laughs> formation. There is simultaneous subchondral bone sclerosis, which is so very important. There is chronic inflammatory response. And all these are driving human osteoarthritis finally to synovial joint failure. Well, what is desirable? Desirable is that we should initiate a specific therapy to forestall progression of osteoarthritis to synovial joint failure. And naturally, we pose a question, can we decelerate the osteoarthritic process? Well, friends, here itself, I would again like to deviate a little and express my gratitude to Dr. Sujit Kumar. If he's here, I would like to uh, acknowledge his presence and his association. He is the head of the medical team of Dr. Reddy's lab. And he facilitated the preparation of teaching module for this very topic. We are very happy to have been associated with you in preparation of this teaching module. Dr. Sujit, if you are here, thank you very much. So friends, in beginning, most cases are indolent of osteoarthritis, some symptoms, minor ones. So, but they become clinically relevant later when either non-immune or immune-mediated inflammatory events, they begin to dominate. And in osteoarthritis, what we say, rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune disease, but osteoarthritis is not an autoimmune disease. So there is not an immune inflammation. The million dollar question is, is it an inflammatory disease? And friends, we must make it clear that osteoarthritis is itis, inflammation, and is not osteoarthrosis. Friends, if we talk about the basic understanding of the pathogenesis, the initial concept has been that osteoarthritis is a consequence of fragility of cartilage matrix. It was only in 1990s that profoundly modified this paradigm due to progress in molecular biology and discovery of inflammatory theory took place. Many soluble mediators such as cytokines or prostaglandins can increase the production of matrix metalloproteases by chondrocytes. But these were not being accepted till 2000. And it was only after 2000, it was, it was acknowledged that yes, synovitis is there as a part of osteoarthritis. It is a critical feature and it is a driver of the osteoarthritic process. And very recently, the development has taken place where I said subchondral bone is so very important. It has a substantial role in OA. It has a role because it works as a mechanical damper. And friends, whenever we talk about pain in osteoarthritis, 
it is a source of inflammatory mediators implicated in oa pain process right right so gener generation of pain mainly chiefly not only but chiefly can take place in the subchondral bone and the deeper layer of the articular cartilage can get degraded because of the subchondral bone involvement so osteoarthritis which was initially considered cartilage driven is a much more complex disease of heterogeneous nature and the inflammatory mediators are not only released by cartilage also released by bone and synovium well arguments in favor of inflammatory theory of osteoarthritis there is low grade inflammation which is induced by metabolic syndrome and the metabolic syndrome is abdominal obesity high blood pressure high blood sugar high serum triglyceride and low serum hdl there could be activation of innate immunity and also inflammation now inflammation is age related changes leading to low level of inflammation so normally joint under healthy condition the synovial sites produce synovial fluid which nourishes and lubricates the articular cartilage and contributes to cartilage homeostasis well in osteoarthritis dr raja will tell us in detail that the synovium contributes to articular cartilage catabolism and by products of breakdown of cartilage involve the extracellular matrix which consists of fibronectin and collagen fragments they induce inflammation in extent chondrocytes and adjacent synovium so finally friends this webinar we will have the opportunity to hear hear from stalwarts that the emerging new targets for therapy will they go beyond symptomatic relief and hopefully induce slowing or stopping of the progression of the disease now may i request the first speaker dr yogesh kamat from mangalore who speaks on novel perspective in osteoarthritis Thank you.